Okay, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, have you ever gone onto YouTube and you've come across a video and you've thought, hmm, this is pretty good, I'm going to watch this, and then you try to watch it, you know, you click on the link, and it says, the video is not available in this country. I'm sure some of you have seen that. Now, I'll just do one of these to show you what I'm talking about. Here we are on my channel, but that's not really important right now. Now, I've got it bookmarked here, somewhere on YouTube. If I can just get it to... Excuse me a minute, having problems with the computer. It's not doing what I want it to do. All right, here we are. Now, there's a thing here on YouTube right, where you can watch TV shows. Now, I'm not trying to endorse this or I'm not working for YouTube. I'm just using this as an example. So I'm not um, promoting this or anything like that. I'm just doing, using this as an example. Now, if we go to... Um, where should we go? Oh, let's just go to animation and cartoons. Now, there is a lot to choose from. Let's say Sonic X. As you can see, there's a lot of clips to... I mean, a lot of episodes you can choose from here. Say this one, Satellite Swindle, because I don't think I've seen this one, but... And as you can see now... Yeah, so we'll need to do something about that. And that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to show you how to get around this so you can actually watch these. Now, this is where you need to go first. There's this site called Proxy for Free. You can see the web address there. I might put an annotation up so you can see it more clearly. Now, because we're trying to watch an American TV show, need to find an American proxy server. So I'm going to scroll down now to find one. There's one right here. So here's what we do. First of all, as this is an American video I'm trying to watch, we need to find a United States proxy server. So I found, I've got one right here. Now the next thing you do is copy that IP address right there by highlighting it and pressing Control C. Also, it's a good idea to make to make note of the port, which in this case is 80. Then go to Tools and Options, and this is your Firefox Options window. I've got the Advanced selected and the Network tab network tab selected so then you go to here where it says connection I think my microphone just crapped out just then but go to connection where it says settings and then select manual proxy configuration I've already got one set up but I'll do it anyway so to just paste the IP address in here where it says HTT proxy by pressing Control V. The port's already set to 80, so we don't need to worry about that. Then just go to OK, and OK again. The next thing you need to do is close the browser, go to this, I'll just do save and quit, just saving the, um, the tabs I had open. Now, next step is to open the browser again. It's restoring my tabs. Now, using the proxy server, it will take a little longer to respond, but it will work. Right, okay, now, we're back here. Now, it still says this, the video is not available in your country because it hasn't refreshed, but... Now let's try to play that episode again. Wait for it to load up. 
And here we are. It is now. It will now play. That's how you get around those annoying country limitations. Now I'll just press play here. And Viola. Voila. Of course I had to pick one that's not going to stream very well. They usually stream better than this. Usually they stream alright, but this one looks like it's going to give us problems, but it doesn't really matter. That's really good. So that's how you do it. This should also work if you're, say, an American viewer and you're trying to view something from the BBC, because the BBC will not let international viewers view their content, but this should solve that problem as well. So now we can see all of your programs, and you can see all of our programs. Anyway, I hope this video has been informative to you and has helped. Please give me five stars, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.